I'm going to run my errands. So I have some errands to run. I need to go to Plato's Closet and to Target um, and probably all these. So I'm heading out to do that. I have some clothes that I'm trying to get rid of um, that I've been on Poshmark for a while that I haven't sold. So I'm gonna take them to Poshmark and see what I can get. Um, I'm at least hoping for like $30, honestly. Um, I could get way more on Poshmark, but like I said, I haven't got any hits on it and I'm just like kind of over it. And <laughs> I want to clear up the space. So, um, yeah, so I'm taking these to Poshmark. I mean, from to Play-Doh's Closet and then I'm gonna head to Target. So talk to you guys in a bit. Hello guys, we are starting the vlog in the car today, car, because I'm getting ready to go to um, this alteration shop because I am in a wedding this week and I need to get my dress alterated. Um, I just need to get the split in my dress sewn up. It's just a little too high for my comfort and I feel like for a wedding. So um, we're just going to sew it up about halfway. And I knew that I wanted to do this to do this when I picked out the dress for the wedding, but um, I was looking for someone like I was looking for a referral for someone, and I didn't get that. And then the place that I normally that I have gone to in the past back home is closed, so I couldn't go there because um, that was what my last resort was going to be. If I couldn't find someone here in Cleveland, I would just take it home, but they are closed, so <sighs> I found this place in Mayfield and they said that they can get it done if I bring it in today they can have it done by Friday which is perfect because I need it obviously for Sunday on the wedding so I'm heading there um, I also have to head to CVS to pick up my prescription because my allergies have been kicking my butt for like the last few days and it was really bad to the point to where I kept waking up in my sleep last night because I couldn't breathe like I can't breathe out of my nose Today, I've just been taking a bunch of cough drops, but it has not been helping. And my eyes have been so itchy. It just made things way worse. Um, so, yeah. So, I took the day off from my second job because I need to get this medicine. I need it to get, I need to kick in because I just don't feel comfortable being at a restaurant, sneezing every five seconds, rubbing my eyes, stuffy nose, sometimes coughing. They're going to be like, this girl has the vid, get her out of here. But, it's really just my allergies but so I'm gonna go pick up that medicine and then come back home work out and I need to do some homework um so yeah so again welcome to the new vlog this is a new week and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and let's get the day going well the day has been going it's 
five o'clock in the afternoon, but let's get the post work day going. <laughs> Look at me. Bye. My name is Bree, and this is me before the wedding. No shot. My name is Brianna, and this is me. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. Hi, this is Brittany, and this is me before shots. Hi, I'm Marty, and this is me before shots. Nope. Go ahead. Hi, my name is Shida. I'm the bride. This is me on my wedding day before shots. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Shot before the big I mean, my He's trying to like say sorry. <laughs> All right. My, 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 to my, Chanel, the most beautiful is bride who's yeah. not paying attention. Oh, hi. Is that Uncle Johnny? Oh my is god. It? Oh my god. That nigga got old. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. The Cheers. Down the hatch. Hey guys, happy Sunday. So I just left the farmer's market. Um, I'll insert the little TikTok from there. <laughs> and I was bamboozled. I was not bamboozled, but I was bamboozled, okay? So I have a list of things that I wanted to get. And um, I don't know. I have like bad and social anxiety. Bad and social <laughs> I have bad social anxiety, so it doesn't take much for me to get overwhelmed in like a crowded situation. I knew that going into this, but I thought it would be okay. Like I had headphones in to kind of like cancel things out, but I made a mistake of like being on the phone and not just like listening to music. Um, so I just got like overwhelmed and the guys that were helping me were really nice, but obviously their job is to sell, like they're there to hustle. So He's like, oh, I'll give you this and this. And I'm like, okay. Like, oh, he's giving you a deal. Girl, he's not giving you a deal. You're getting bamboozled. <laughs> Anyways, I ended up spending like $20 just on grapes. I mean, the grapes are really good, but like, babe. Babe. Like, what the freak? <laughs> um, and it was funny. He was trying to sell me the whole bag. And I was like, no, I just want like a pound. And then he was like, well, I'll give you half. I'll give you half a bag and i'm thinking okay he's gonna give me like a nice amount for the pound like he's gonna give me like a little plus pound you know no he was not giving me that just unlike uh have half a bag of grapes what else did i get from him half a pound of grapes and strawberries which the two big containers of strawberries okay that was really nice but I was like $20 for that. I was like, this is crazy. Um, I did, however, get like some fresh bread for $4. It looks so good. Um, I'm going to be making grilled cheeses and tomato soup for lunch today. But I got tomatoes and I didn't even get enough tomatoes for the tomato soup. I only got two big ones because they were like $2.99 for a tomato. And I was like, no. So I'm going to go to all these and get some more tomatoes but it really was a nice experience i just need to like deal better with my social anxiety when i do something like that um again this is all part of the emily morito Mor i don't know how to say her last name um <laughs> like how she does things to like not waste food but still like eats like really healthy like she so i'm i think i'll be okay and then plus it's just nice for me to have something to get out of the house and do um, it was a really nice setting, and I'm excited to taste this bread when I get home. So I need to go to Aldi's, get some more tomatoes and cheese for the grilled cheeses, and yeah. 
Um, I've been making, I've been trying to make like TikToks, like vlog TikToks. And that is a lot easier to do than like a whole vlog video. But then I realized that I don't have enough content for the vlogs. Um, so I'm hoping soon to get a camera and then I could just like set my camera up and have that running, like get like a little tripod and then just like when I'm out grocery shopping, just set that up and then I can just make my TikTok off my phone. That'd be a lot easier than me trying to do everything off of one device. Um, but yeah, so I don't have like footage, like actual vlog footage of me in the farmer's market. I just have the footage from the TikTok. So I will include that so you guys can see that what it looks like. But if you're in Cleveland, you already know I just went to West Side Market. They're open like five days a week, maybe seven days a week. I think they're open every day and they offer different things. Um, there's the like farmer's market, which has like all the veggies and stuff fruits and all that stuff and then in the inside there is the market which has where I got the fresh bread they have like um butchers they have like a cheese person um they have a lot of pastries I've never had macaroons and they have like a uh pastry set that had like all these beautiful macaroons and I think I'm gonna try those next week um I went a little too ham today so I was like yeah, I need to cut it off somewhere so I think I want to try those um let's see what else what else what else um yeah they just have a bunch of stuff that I was like in there talking about the price of their ribs um because they had like some really nice looking ribs I don't eat ribs but I know like my family does and I was like well it's just like a good price and so you know I'm sure maybe like for holiday or something I can get them some ribs and take them back home um <laughs> from here so that was just really nice I really just want to like get uh, better with like my food intake and make sure I'm eating like natural healthy stuff um and it's nice just to support a local business instead of like big corporations although you guys saw yesterday I was at Whole Foods and Trader Joe's but that's not the point um but yeah so now I'm gonna go to Aldi's I'm gonna get the tomatoes and the cheese and then I'm gonna head home um, I'm going to put the tomatoes and stuff in the oven and then I'm going to take a shower and do a little pampering, um, just to kind of like vibe out, chill out Sunday, reset Sunday. Cause I go back to work tomorrow and while this vacation was much needed, um, I was sick for a good part of it. And although I didn't do anything, like I literally just laid on the couch those days that I was sick. Well, pretty much the whole vacation. Cause it was just like, ugh. I didn't really get to like self-care the way that I wanted to like my plan for this vacation was to organize my home um really self-care with myself create a routine but then I got sick and I just threw everything off track so I still want to do all that stuff but now I just have to do it while I'm working so um I really just want to take today just like do like some self-care take a nice pampering shower um and then just kind of organize my kitchen a little bit um because I have all of these groceries I'm gonna prep them and then I'm going to um just kind of like clean my kitchen a little bit although my kitchen light is out and my apartment people are going to come and change it because I have like fluorescent for what is it fluorescent lighting in my kitchen so they replaced that they didn't have the bulbs on set so they can't replace it till tomorrow so I don't have a light in my kitchen um so that should be fun I'll just have to like bring probably my desk light into the kitchen just to give me something it's cold so I need to start the car and head to my next location so I will talk to you guys later